It is Wednesday, my dudes, and that is not normally the day that you see my face talking about Impeachment America Crime Story, which is what we're here to chat about today, but that is because last night I was not able to catch the episode live. I watched it this morning, and now we're going to review it for you guys. Last night's episode of American Crime Story was titled The Assassination of Monica Lewinsky, speaking of her character assassination and the way that she was basically not only became a public figure overnight, but her entire life and public image or potential for her future was really jeopardized by the way the media was covering the events that happened. I want to commend this episode for a lot of things, both balancing the political nature of the events going on and the fact that the political cogs will never stop and they keep going while also focusing on the emotions of different characters who have almost been like the focus of the story up until this point and what i mean is linda and monica before like they were the story whereas now the story is everyone else involved ken Starr, bill clinton all of these other political power players who have only been side characters in the story thus far but what i think american crime story is able to do so well is something that i think maybe some people didn't like earlier on this season but i think is having a lot of payoff which is introducing a lot of characters all at once at the beginning like i think some people haven't loved the fact that we've spent so much time with journalists but in this episode when we see pretty much everyone we've been introduced to thus far in this series interacting with the major events and the story breaking you don't have to waste time knowing who is that like you recognize people off the bat you know where they stand you know who they are what is going on and what has led up to this point and i think that gives a really great payoff for this episode specifically because you can focus on things like the emotional impact of this on monica and linda or just even like how the political nature which usually people wouldn't want to show about plays out because this political drama is going on with characters we already know and establish instead of wasting time in the middle of the scandal trying to learn who these people are so i think that was great i also love that the show brings back one of the visual elements from probably two episodes ago last week or two weeks ago i can't really remember but the split diopter lens i'm a really big fan of this visual component because i think one it has a very uncomfortable visual cue for you as a viewer and if you don't know what i'm speaking about a split diopter lens is when you have two focal points so usually in a camera lens there is only one focal point but when you use a split diopter lens you can get two focal points and there's almost like a blur around one of them and so one of the focal points in the foreground ends up being much larger than the focal point in the background but both are in focus at the same time with kind of surroundings of them being blurred i'll try to insert a screenshot of like an example prior in the series it was used during linda and monica's lunch to kind of keep the fbi agent in focus while monica is like panicking on the phone but in this episode it's used on bill and paula jones and the way that bill is focused is he is like a very extreme close-up of just like his face whereas paula you can see like probably from the waist up both of them you see their emotions at the same time in the same focus and attention is paid to their reaction to what he's saying like how he is delivering the lines and her reaction to it and so i just really liked that because it does give the visual language of two things are simultaneously just as important at the same time but it also structures the power dynamic of the frame with bill clinton taking up a, about 70 percent of the frame and paula only being about 30. so i just really like those visual cues and i love that FX is a channel, but a lot of Ryan Murphy's projects, as well as just sort of television nowadays, is so cinematic in its visual language because I think you can feel that as a viewer emotionally in what the story is trying to say. Last point I want to make is the focus on the late night response to this scandal. We've really focused on the journalists of this case, which obviously that was a huge part of this scandal is the media, how it covered this scandal and the advent of the internet making news and someone private prior be completely public within, you know, a matter of hours or a day. But what I liked was the focus on the late night response because for me personally, I don't necessarily believe that comedy needs to be filtered to make anyone feel necessarily comfortable. I think the nature of comedy is that anyone can make comedy about something else. There are things that where lines are crossed and there are boundaries, I understand that, but for the most part, I don't think comedy should necessarily be censored. I, I liked the conversation that Linda had with Allison about it because it's sort of how I feel, that it's 
it's comedy and you should be able to just shake it off but obviously those things do have impacts and so it's that fine balance in comedy of where are the lines what is too far and i'm not necessarily here to make a judgment call or ask anyone who watches this show to make a judgment call and like should john goodman have played linda tripp on snl i think it's smart of this show to focus on the emotional impacts of this and specifically linda and monica because thus far they've had control of the story and this is the point where both of them are losing control of that narrative or really having an active role in it and so I think that was just a very interesting balance of like, again, who gets to tell these stories, who gets to be respected in these stories. Because I think that is the responsibility of a show like this that is tackling real life events to point the finger back at the viewer and ask, how did you feel about this? Where do you still feel about this? Does this change your opinion? That's gonna be it. I know this was, again, a kind of a short review. I kind of like keeping these shorter and not really reviewing everything because I think at a certain point, I would just be relaying facts to you and giving my opinion on how they adapted those real life events. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your Wednesday and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye everyone.